feeling to its six special the cutlass bearing and this is goes I haven't been able to get the shaft out to clean it up but so I'm just replacing the, the bearing um, it fits in here you can see by the way that there are openings on either side uh, there to allow water cooling and lubrication water to get in uh, from the scoop which fits over this so this goes in there it's a clearance fit it's a clearance fit so it's held in place by epoxy glue um, the epoxy when you want to remove it the epoxy uh, can be heated epoxy begins to soften around 60 degrees centigrade and it's lost most of its strength at about 90 degrees centigrade so careful heating allows you to remove it uh, and then uh, by heating and then by putting a Stilson onto it and you can get it out. So I'm putting a new bearing in. Um, there's a small screw hole on the top here and that also helps to stop the bearing turning. So you can see there's a small mark which has to be drilled out um, but not through the rubber. You just drill into the, the brass without going through into the rubber. That then allows the locking screw, which goes in there, to hold it in place. The hole now drilled in the top of the cutlass bearing. So you slide it in. And then I have to put the end piece over it and put the locking screw in. So this is the end piece and there are scoops on either side. These scoops line up with the openings or the uh, where the water passage these water passages so this fits on like that and with the locking screw in place in the top so again the water scoops can be seen here I've run into a problem where there is a gap of I'm measuring it with feeler gauge of about two millimeters there. The new cutlass bearing, which is a, a Vetus part or ULAG1 or ULAG1, is slightly too long. So I'm going to have to either get another bearing or else take about two millimeters off the end of the bearing. I don't want to leave a gap there if I can help it at all. And it can be seen there that there's a difference about two millimeters between the old and new bearings.